So in the last learning, we explored about a scientific notation type of variable, right? And uh, in the previous movies, we also discovered or explored about dot and comma type of variables, right? So if we go in data view, then you see here that clearly this is expense variable and its label is monthly expense and it is comma type but it shows a scale here right so the the measure is a scale for travel expense which is dot type of variable its measure is also scale the long variable which is scientific notation right and its measure is also scale scale is shown here so it is always good idea that you take these as scale measures, right? Scale, not ordinal, not nominal, but scale measures. So it is a good idea to take scientific notation as a scale measure, dot variable as a scale measure, and compound as a scale measure. It is a good idea in my requirement i thought that i should take them as scale variable and let us save it now so status spss is running the procedure i can minimize these for the time being now here we are exploring the date as a variable so i am taking pur purchase date and i can give it a value here like this is date of purchase right and uh, of course here we have to take the date variable right and the moment i click on this radio button to select the date variable right variable of date type i see so many options you can drag it and see there are so many options you can explore it you can use the one according to your requirement but the first one is like first you write date then uh, separator which is dash and then month so three letters for the month and then there is a dash separator and then y y y y means the four digits for the year let us experiment with this one and click OK. Here we go to the data view. We have purchase date here. And uh, suppose the date of purchase is uh, 22. And uh, it was dash. And I will put March, three letters for March, M-A-R. And then dash. And then 2019. And uh, I see that this date has been accepted i can press enter right here this date has been accepted right so this is the date format right so another date format for example we click the variable view and click type and try this one here the first two are same but the last one is yy so here is only two digits click ok and see the date the date display has changed right so the then i go back to variable view and uh, one more time i i'm experimenting here i'm exploring here so if you want to enter date these are the date formats but if uh, we pay a close look here we can enter date formats with these hyphens or dashes right and then we can enter date with slashes right or uh, here there are two formats where we can enter date with slashes and here are these two formats where we can enter date with the uh, dots uh, period sign i mean let us uh, click this one and click ok and go to data view and see here date is displayed with dots or period signs i should say right so this way this way spss gives you many options many options to
to display the date or enter the date and you can explore it uh, according to the requirements of your data and uh, then use it accordingly.